across the state of Michigan. We're on the lookout for Jocelyn Ben. Oh, there she is right now. We'll try to talk to her very quickly and then talk to her in an extended fashion uh, at another time. She is the Democratic candidate for Secretary of State. Good morning to you. Good morning. Um, the polls seem to indicate, I think, that Ruth Johnson is leading you. Any idea why and what you plan to do about that? Yeah, the, the, the polls indicate is that a lot of people have not made up their mind yet in this race. Mm -hmm. uh, and so my challenge over these next five weeks is to get people, A, to pay attention to this critical choice that they'll be making this fall in the Secretary of State's race, and secondly, to reach those voters who have not yet made up their mind uh, and talk to them about uh, how I'm a Secretary of State who's going to be on their side and the side of the people of Michigan. Um, tell me specifically what that means. You'll be on our side. Well, I think you can look no further than... Um, my campaign finance report, which shows over 2,000 people from around this state, 59 different counties have opened up their um, hard-earned money in their pocketbooks to invest in our campaign, and I'm so proud of that because that means that I am devoted to working for them, and I'm on their side. My entire career has been about being on the side of the people, whether it was working at the Southern Poverty Law Center investigating hate crimes in the South mm -hmm. or working as an attorney now to uh, protect uh, the right to vote for all of our citizens. I've been a person, an advocate, and an attorney on the side of the people, and I will be a Secretary of State who's on their side as well. Okay, if you can hold on. Can you hold on through the break here? I'd like to continue if you got a little bit of time. Yeah, absolutely. Terrific. Jocelyn Benson, the uh, Democratic candidate for Secretary of State. We'll be back in four minutes. I'm Michael Patrick Shields. You're listening on radio stations all across the state of Michigan. Stay with us. Jocelyn Benson, a Detroit Democrat, is the uh, candidate for Secretary of State. And uh, how about this for education? Wellesley College, Oxford, and Harvard Law. And she's also written a book highlighting the best practices of secretaries of state throughout the country. And she has lots of other work and experience, too, and she's with us this morning. Thanks for hanging in there. It's nice to uh, have you still on the line. I understand that, that you have taken an unpaid leave from uh, Wayne State University Law School, where you're a professor, uh, in order to um, enact and, and see your campaign through. It, it was impossible to do both, really, wasn't it? Absolutely. I, I don't know how anyone could um, get a hold of a full-time job while trying to get a message out about a, a campaign that's as important as the Secretary of State's office. So uh, though I love teaching and I do uh, miss my students a great deal, I uh, was proud uh, to take a leave of absence from my position as a professor at Wayne State to devote myself full-time to reaching the voters throughout the state of Michigan uh, and talking to them about uh, the clear choice they have this November. Is that going to be a tough uh, financial hit for you? I would think so. <laughs> yeah, I... I, I, <laughs> I I, I've, yes, <laughs> but, uh, but at the same time, it's worth it because um, there is truly uh, no other job that I want to have other than to serve the state of Michigan and the people of the state as their next secretary of state. So I'm someone who um, is, I'm a very committed person, and I'm someone who's very um, focused uh, on um, uh, you know, doing what I can to contribute to making the state better. And, uh, and so you know, I think I'm not the first person uh, or the last person to make such a sacrifice uh, so, that, so that we could serve the people of the state. But I'm very proud uh, because it's a sharp contrast between my opponent, who's con continued to serve her, in her full-time position in Oakland County while uh, to, you know, taking taxpayer money while also working on her campaign. So I think there's a clear difference in distinction there. Uh, my understanding is that your opponent, Ruth Johnson, has uh, gone ahead and got a, another $200,000 loan, tapping into her own money there uh, in her bid. That, that's, uh, that's quite a risk, isn't it? Well, uh, you know, I think it shows that you know we have a, a, a campaign that's funded by you know, 2,300 people throughout the state of Michigan in 59 different counties, uh, and that's who I'm working for. Uh, and uh, when you uh, ask the same question about my opponent, who's she working for, uh, you see her, um, her most significant contributors are herself, uh, her political party, and the Michigan Chamber of Commerce, uh, which is funded through corporations uh, throughout the state. So uh, you clearly have a choice. Voters clearly have a choice this November between someone who is clearly on their side working for them and someone who's uh, on, their, on uh, the side of uh, special interest, uh, partisanship, uh, and large corporate in, uh, interests in Michigan. Is, is that why you've asked for Ruth Johnson to disclose her personal finances? Yes, I was proud. Uh, you know, I believe anyone running for state office in Michigan should disclose their personal finances because it's uh, a way to signify to the people of Michigan uh, that you work for them and uh, to be transparent about your sources of income so that they can see clearly who you are working for. 
and uh, I wanted to communicate to the citizens throughout our state uh, that I am working for them, and I will be on their side. And uh, by doing so, I uh, disclosed my own personal finances and called on my opponents to do the same, because while I uh, expect anyone running for state office to be prepared for that level of transparency, the integrity of the Office of Secretary of State that is truly the guardian of our democratic process mm -hmm. calls upon people to be who want to occupy that sacred position to be transparent and to lead the way uh, and to show uh, by example how an elected official in our state should act. Has there been or will there be a debate between you and uh, Ruth Johnson? Oh, I hope so. <laughs> yeah. you know, uh, we have accepted uh, debate invitations from uh, three uh, entities, from uh, Tim Skubik on Off the Record, from mm -hmm. Center for Michigan, and also from the League of Women Voters, uh, and I certainly hope my opponent does the same. Um, okay, let's say you've got everybody's here now across the state of Michigan listening to this program, and I'd like you to be specific if you could. Why should they pull the lever for Jocelyn Benson for Secretary of State? Because I am going to be a Secretary of State who is on their side. I will work to eliminate and curb special interest influence in our elections. I will work to save them time. I will work to save them money, and I will work to ensure that their right to vote is protected. And can you just give me a couple of very specific examples? Yes. Uh, I will work to save them time by partnering with uh, grocery stores and Michigan-owned businesses so that they don't have to go to an office in order to renew their license, but they can do it while they're doing their grocery shopping. Wow, that's neat. Yeah, we're going to create appointments uh, also at branch offices so that you can make an appointment ahead of time instead of having to wait in line. Another way to save people time during these busy economic times. All right. We're going to work to eliminate unfair driver's fees uh, and make sure no one's being overcharged their licensing fees uh, as a way to save citizens time mm -hmm. and money while also offering them multi-year license plates so that they don't have to renew every year if they don't want to. That will also save them time and help us cut costs in state government right now. Wow. Hey, time is money and time equals money in your plan. Yeah, exactly. And that's exactly what we need to do in government right now, save our citizens time and save them money. I like that. Thank you very, very much for the time this morning. I hope we'll talk again soon, and we'll keep our eyes and ears open if there's a debate and let us know what we can do. Thank you so much. Jocelyn Benson is the Democratic nominee for Secretary of State.